What is up guys? Welcome back to part two of Decking Out the Shed. Before we get into today's video though, I do have a special announcement. As y'all know, I've been working on Kelly Bates, my bait company, for the past few weeks now. And in the process of all of that work, I've also been working on the website. And I am happy to announce that today, August 2nd, Kelly Bates is officially live. So if y'all want to go check out some of the baits that I've made, see some of the different colors, some of the different varieties that I got, click that link down in the description or go to kellybaits.com. It's official, baby. The baits are live and up for sale. So if y'all want to go check them out and maybe purchase something that would literally mean the world to me we got some absolutely fire stuff on there so y'all go check it out click that link down in the description but now enjoy today's video what what you doing don't come in i'm naked so you don't come in i'm naked <laughs> Cheers. So lonely in here. There's nothing to do. It's hot. We need to change it. <laughs> well, they can get out the floor now. Your butt is so dirty. I even swept it. You should have seen me sweeping it. I I probably sneezed 17 times. I was like, it was bad. <laughs> but all right, guys. Here we go. I told y'all last video that the next video y'all will see will be us pimping this thing out to the max, turning it into the, the ultimate man shed. Still need to come up with a name for it. Y'all drop the names down in the comments. No, nothing's changed. I put uh, those from those. All those fishing poles were in the bed of my truck. Yeah, I have a, I have a problem. Put those in there because today we're going to Home Depot, Walmart, doing all kinds of stuff, doing a bunch of running. Because we're going to get everything we need to turn this into what I, the start, the start of what I want it to be. We're going, we're getting AC units. We're going to run electric to it. I think I'm going to get pegboards to start the bait wall. Maybe some other things here and there, but yeah, this is a, this is, it's the beginning. I would like to call it the he shed, <coughs> she shed. <laughs> get out, <laughs> get out. Go, oh, oh. you're done, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> Bye guys, this is nice seeing you. <coughs> I am allergic to something here. Yeah, it's See? probably the dust. Probably. Can I come back into the shed now? Yeah, no girls allowed, but today we'll allow it. Just because, no, I need, I need help today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking eventually, I don't know if we'll do it today or not. I do want to put like rod holders on the ceiling because I'm tall, I can reach up there, she can't, but. It, it also, you can put them up there, store them up there, but they're out of the way for everything else. So that's what I think I want to do. <laughs> Why do you have to call <laughs> me out like that? I mean, here, let's we'll show the people. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, she's a... You're an armor. Look at all these screws and stuff I took out of the wood. Hey, buddy. Screw you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we'll nail them off. I don't know. That don't make any sense. <laughs> but all right, we're going to hop in the truck. We're going to head to Walmart probably first and then head to Home Depot to get the stuff we need to turn this into the ultimate man shed. What would you say? He said... He, he shed, she shed. <laughs> now you got it. He shed, she shed. There it is. She shells on the seashore. <laughs> I'm glad we think we're funny. <laughs> so yeah, let's hop in the truck. Let's get to it. <laughs> no, they don't. They only have the big ones. Yeah. And they're all jank. You think all this all the money I spent here they would use some of the binding car? Look at that, it just looks like a fire hazard. This ain't even Walmart anymore. What the heck? That's where they make you everywhere though. Test positive from COVID. <laughs> what just will? Look at that. <laughs> that ain't even willing. Never in my life have I seen a wheel not will as much as this wheel's not will. What? <laughs> <laughs> Replay that, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Damn, that actually is pretty good. <laughs> this is gonna be the lifesaver right here. This goes out, I go out. What's that screw? Somebody wanted to see what it looked like, I guess. It might take me like three days to put together, honestly. I 
got those hidden back there, don't they? Mm -hmm. 3200 lumen, four foot shot plug. Built in LEDs so you don't change the light bulb. What if I do if it goes out? I just have to buy a whole new one? It's kind of whack. For now, just to get started. All right. I think that's it. I think that's all we need at Walmart. Yeah, sure. All right, yeah. See y'all when we get to Home Depot. I have a wedgie. It's the home of Depot. Huh. Oh, was this it? Oh, that ain't it. They lie. All 16, bay, bay 8. Honey. Oh. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> They're only two by four. That's kind of nice. Nerd. Shove it. That's in good shape. Hmm. wonder where they keep their the metal Eggs. thing. If y'all don't know, your boy worked at a Home Depot for like 12 hours. <laughs> it still counts so damn. I'll pee pee. I do <laughs> got <a> pee. <laughs> He's <laughs> got the pigs in the bathroom. I guess. All right. Well, I'm not gonna uh, report myself peeing, so I'm gonna go pee, then ask where pee pee is. <laughs> See y'all. Those bathrooms are always bring back good memories. Cause uh, when I worked here for 12 hours, about nine of those was spent in the bathroom because I was hiding. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> All right. Let's go find pee pee. Found pee pee. Alright, well, here's the hook. So, it's really nice. six inch. There's a 12 pack. Yeah, that make yeah 12 pack for 10 bucks. Sure, that works for me. All right, got the pegs, peg board. Look at this. This, is, this place we're in the area we're in right now is literally called the tote room. I don't know why they call it. I don't know either. <laughs> this is my contribution. I thought that was a snake. Me too. What? It's a bean. There ain't no bean. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Alright. We got pegboard, AC, lighting, hooks for the pegboard. Can't you see we're trying to vlog? I think that's all we got. It's always the trucks with the quarter panels for us to nail. But I think that's all we need for today. Like I said, this is just getting started, getting the shed ready. But yeah, let's uh, get home. It's gonna be dark by the time we get home. So we might try to get the light up and then put the AC in because I'll probably need your help to do it. But then everything else will probably just carry on tomorrow. So yeah, let's get home. All right guys, we are back home now. Off camera, I went ahead and put up the light because uh, it's, I'll show you. Yeah, it's, it's pitch black outside. So I just put the light up so that way we have a little bit of light while we're filming this. So yeah, got the light already put up. Look at it, bro. It's that one light pretty much makes this entire thing glow like it's perfect so yeah we ran electricity got the light put up did both of those off camera but now we have to get the old ac unit put in that is the main thing we gotta have that i mean even with it being nine o'clock at night right now it's it's hot like bro it is toasty so yeah let's get this baby out of the box and uh, let's get to it all right so first things first i guess i gotta take that screen out so i'm gonna take my very manly uh flathead screwdriver and i'm gonna go outside and pop that out real quick <laughs> Maggie's looking for you. Maggie! Chasing her! <laughs> Take the door with you, woman. What are you doing? You can hear you on the inside. I looking for you. Alright. Shoot. Come on. Hey, come on. Turn it. Quit. Alright. Close this before we get a bug infestation. Alright, screen's out. Step one. Pain lift. Alright. Crack his battle wheel. Why are you sneezing? We're all just allergic to something in here, I guess. Yeah, this looks complicated. Hey, 
It goes right on the window seal. They don't just pop in anymore, do they? Oh, this new age technology. All right, well, got this bad boy out. I'm not gonna show you all the step-by-step -step process of putting in an air conditioner. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's literally 6,000 of those videos on YouTube already. So yeah, I'm gonna start reading instructions and uh, trying to put this puzzle together. So y'all enjoy the timeline. Six and a half hours later. That will be the one and only air conditioned unit I will ever put in. That was so hard for no reason. like. And I don't even think it's incorrectly, but that's what that's how it's gonna stay. Let's plug this bad boy up. It's freaking toasty in here. My wrist hurts. Bravo six. Going dark. Jesus. Damn, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Can't see nothing now. <laughs> Drill light. That's terrifying. It got dark as hell, then all I heard was Maggie going. <laughs> <laughs> what are you sniffing? <laughs> all right, moment of truth. It just blows up. <laughs> do is I'll probably get another 100 foot extension cord and run a separate cord just for this because y'all seen the light flicker when I first turned it on because running all this stuff and plus I'm gonna have a microwave too microwaves pull a lot of freaking power so I'm probably gonna need two extension cords and two different outlets from the house running here but I'll do that later yo that's nice that's nice get, get you get you a whiff of this that's nice <laughs> and that's on low let's go high cool on max cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna get nipply in here. Sheesh. But all right, there we go. We got the lights installed, the AC semi installed. It's it's in the window and it's blowing cold air. That's all I really care about. Pretty much the only thing left to do for right now is get up the old pegboard, set the old pegboard up. And I changed my mind. I think last video I said I wanted like the entire back wall. Changed my mind. I'm not. Bug. He's on your face. He's on my face. Oh, you bastard, he's in my beard. <laughs> ah. I think I'm gonna put the pegboard right here next to the uh, the workbench. I don't know why, I just like this area being full of baits better than that whole wall. I could do something else with that whole wall. So yeah, let's get that pegboard set up. All right, hopefully this, this <laughs> That was loud. All right. Oh, no, we're perfect. Yeah, cheat a little bit this way. Well, you can if you do like the corner. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Sure. All right. Well. I got it. Y'all are seeing a master at work right here. baits on there. So yeah, let's start on the second one, like right there. Okay. Boom. Hang on, let's see how it looks. Throw a pack of singles on there. Shoo! 
Oh yeah, go all the way back. Oh gosh, yeah. That looks fine. Oh yeah. Dang, son. That looks good. Boom. Hey, it's coming together. So, you like it? Yeah. I like it. This is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Put the pegs on. Yes. I know she worked at retail. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Pegboard, bait, wall, whatever you want to call it. I just realized if I would have bought, because I was originally gonna buy a four by eight, that a four by eight wouldn't have fit right there. No, it would have. We would have had it at the back wall. I like it. I like it. It's got enough room if I really wanted to. Probably could put one more right here. So I could probably like cheat it down, take it off, cheat it down a little bit, and fit three right there, and just make a whole wall. Good. Maybe you could also put some tools up there too. Yeah. But alright guys, so that is going to do it for tonight. We got the light put up, got the AC semi put in. And we got the pegboard up. It's already like nine o'clock. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready to take a shower. It's sweaty. But we'll continue this video in the morning whenever I move all of my bait making stuff in here and really get the setup going. Show y'all the complete setup and really turn this into the ultimate bait maker shed. But yeah, for now, I guess we're gonna go inside, go to bed, and we'll see y'all in the morning. But all right guys, there we go. We got all of my bait making stuff packed into the shed. It doesn't look like much. That's because it ain't. <laughs> Again, I'm just now getting started so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff, but hey, get, give it time, we will. But yeah, we got all of our bait stuff packed into the shed. So we are now officially ready to actually get started setting up the bait making station. Get a good look at it now, cause it's probably gonna kind of look the same just with stuff, more stuff out of the things onto the, you know. <laughs> but all right, now I'm just gonna kind of start unpacking everything, kind of putting it where I think I want it. And then I'll show y'all the finished product. You guys stay tuned. And boom, there we go. The bait making station is officially set up. It looks good too. It looks really good. I'm happy. So starting over here on the left, we got our microwave. I don't know if it's going to stay right here. I might end up switching like all this stuff from here to over there and then putting that over there. I don't know yet. That's just how we're going to leave it for now. Got the old microwave and then of course got my gloves, my temp gun, my injector. All in front of the AC unit and then moving on over. Y'all see we got our clamps clamped on clamps on clamps. Clamps of wood. <laughs> got our clamps and then moving down, we got all of our molds, which this pile is about to get a lot bigger very soon. And then moving on down, just got like my bowl and some knives and stuff like that, just randomness. And then we get to some of the fun stuff. We got some scent oil, worm oil, some of our colorants, all sitting out right here in the open where I can see them, know exactly which one is which. And then still in the bag is all of my glitter. I'm gonna keep them in the bag because that glitter gets absolutely everywhere. These glitter containers just don't be contained in nothing. Like, I don't know why they're even in a container. Like the amount of glitter that gets outside of the container without even opening the container, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. So we got our glitter, got some empty containers where I throw like, you know, old milks and stuff like that in. Then got the notebook for the recipes, got a random mystery tackle box that's full of 
dates that don't that I either made too many or made too less and don't have a home yet. And then moving down, there is our plastisol. We're gonna keep that down there. And then in that white tote, we still got some extra stuff like the salt and extra tips and stuff like that. And then as y'all seen, I put up some more of the baits. It's starting to actually look like a bait wall now. My goal within the next few weeks is to have this thing absolutely loaded with as many different varieties of baits and colors as I possibly can. Again, this is a workshop, but I wanted to have that bait shop feel. So yeah, within these next few weeks, I want this thing to be absolutely loaded up. And it will be too. Now that I got the building, we can put in so much work making these baits. All right, guys, day number three. This video was supposed to end after day two. I had nothing else planned. Well, I did, but it was just gonna take a few weeks for you know me to get the funds and to find the stuff that I wanted to continue making this shed the ultimate man shed that I want. So I ended the video yesterday, but then last night, me and Anna just so happened to take a late night right before they closed Walmart trip. She had to get some stuff for an event she was doing today, and we were just walking around, and something caught my eye. So we were walking around, and I seen this, and I was like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that this is that price. Boom! A refrigerator. A mini fridge. I bought a mini fridge. Listen, I knew I wanted to do this eventually, but I was going to wait, you know, save up some money for it. These things are not, not cheap at all. Like, it was really hard to find one under, like, $150. But we were walking the aisles, and I just so happened to look over and see this, and I thought they put it in the wrong spot because the price for this was $49. Huh? I either thought they put it in the wrong spot or they like switched the nine and the four around accidentally so I got dyslexia or something. So Anna, she got out the Walmart app or whatever and she actually checked it and online it said it was $124. I was so confused. I was like, how, how much is this thing? But if y'all don't know, if you go to Walmart and they put one item in the wrong spot or put the wrong price on it, Walmart has to give it to you for that price that is listed because they messed up. Their workers messed up. So we were thinking this $125 mini fridge, we're going to get it for $49 because somebody put it in the wrong spot. So we loaded her up in the car. We pushed her up there. We were going to be those people that, you know, demanded the right price. <laughs> so we went to one of the actual lines with the actual cashier there and he rang it up and it rang up as $49. I was like, how much How much was that? He said 49. I was like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, we got a mini fridge, so we're gonna get this set up. I need to get the electrical thing figured out with the shed. Cause right now I got one extension cord. I bought another extension cord too. I'll figure something out, but for now, let's get this baby unboxed and let's see what we're working with. What does it say on there? I didn't even read it. I didn't even look at it before I bought it. I just seen the price. <laughs> history exam on Tuesday. I dropped out of school. I don't have a history exam. Don't forget mom's birthday. I never even knew her birthday, so how could I forget? By the way, pizza's in the fridge. All right, bet. This was definitely marketed to, to dads. Jeez. Bam. 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 Imagine it's just like this big. Like it's just a teeny tiny thing. It's in a big old box. It ain't that big. No, it's freaking big. Cheese and rice. I mean, I'm not mad. Dude, this thing is so light. Bruh, that is fire. This is fire, oh my God. Cheese and rice. Got so excited, I'm throwing around a thousand dollar camera, cheese. But here she is. Uh, there's supposed to be a, or is that a bottle opener? Yeah, that's a bottle opener, right? that's dope. Let's see, what's the inside looking like? Ooh, ooh. This is, bro, this is nicer than my actual fridge. What is this? Markers? A little ice tray? That is the cutest damn ice tray I think I've ever seen. What is that, another bottle opener? A scraper? $49, people. $49, look. There's the handle, I knew it came with a handle. I know it's just a refrigerator that I'm just gonna keep drinks in, but like, this is probably the one of the coolest things I think I've ever bought. Boom! Dude, that is, that's fire. Literally one of the coolest things I own. This, bruh. So I'm pretty sure you can literally make ice in this thing. This is insane. 
I want to get it plugged up and see see what it looks like turned on. Okay, so before I ran electric to it, I was just kind of messing around. Like, I got the uh, bottle opener on there and stuff. By the way, look at this. You can't tell me that's not the cutest damn ice tray you've ever seen, bro. <laughs> but besides the ice tray and the bottle opener, it came with markers. I don't know what for. I'm thinking it will show up right here. I don't know. I, I haven't tried it. I was waiting to turn the camera on, so let's give it a shot. Listen, if I can draw on this, this is going to be the number one coolest thing I I've ever owned. Like... Bruh. Bruh. No. That is... Bruh. Where has this been my entire life? Yo. No way. That's insane. That's insane. I have bad, bad handwriting, but still. That's insane. I thought the writing on the box was just some cute little stuff to get people to buy it. I didn't know you could actually write on the dang thing. Look at this. Yo. I love it. I love this. I love it. This is this might be my my favorite thing in the shed now. <laughs> All right, now let's get some power rain to it. Let's get some drinks in it. Let's see if she works. Imagine I do all this. It doesn't even work. Oh my god. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'll probably still keep it just because I can draw on it. <laughs> Boom. There she is, folks. Definitely need to build like maybe like a little stand or something to get it a little bit higher because you know I'm a giant for some reason. And just to get it off the ground, that'll probably help it. But we got her plugged in, and it sounds like she's running. I can't really. Can't tell just yet, it's just now got started, but as you see, bro, we can keep drinks in there, nothing but water, you know, that's all we drink around here, so. <laughs> but yeah, this is absolutely dope. This like really completes the whole man cave vibe that I was looking for. Like now I could literally survive in here for weeks at a time and I'd be fine. But yeah, now that is officially going to do it for at least step one of turning the shed into the ultimate bait shop. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Did we do a good job? It's a, it's a mess right now. I definitely gotta clean it up. My, fr my fridge is running. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Again, without y'all, I couldn't afford any of this. I couldn't do any of this. So this is all thanks to you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shay T, and I'm out. Peace.